Dear students, uh, this video I am making because some of the students requested that I should make a video on daydreaming. In Hindi, there was one serial called Mungeri Lal Ke Haseen Sapne. Correct, na? So, person used to dream, actually, suddenly dream used to come. Ye dreaming actually is a very problematic, hai, especially those who are preparing for competitive examinations. Uh, we, you know, we were in the class, we start dreaming something that I'm such a big person. Or some some uh, chain of thought keeps on happening. And sometime early in the morning when we are getting up, again the daydreaming starts. It starts. So, especially for competitive examination, daydream, daydreaming is a very big problem. So, I thought of certain things to communicate it to all of you. That, you know, to have your constructive studies, the daydream dreaming should be limited. I say basically it is not com completely pos possible to completely eliminate it. So I have certain requests to all of you. Number one, uh, you always think that I am preparing for this competitive examination and I am doing for my parents. Because you know for our own we may be able to ready to take up some difficulties but we want to give the comforts to our parents and those whom we love. So you can, you can always think that I am doing this preparation for my parents. I want to give my comforts to my parents. So let me keep the daydreams day aside and let, uh, let us focus on study. That is one thing. And then uh, second thing is you make a schedule. For example, you may be attending some coaching classes or you may be attending some third year or final year uh, class. Apart from that, at least four or five hours you should have a schedule. Let us say in the morning, one hour I will make revision of such, such and such subject. And number two, basically for this subject, I will basically do some solve some problem. The scheduling should be outcome based. I mean, some you can quantify. Otherwise, during the revision also you will start daydreaming. So, uh, what I suggest you, sub, uh, let us say, is the materials. You want to study for one hour. It should be outcome based means I will solve 10 problems, let us say 5 uh, objective I will solve and 5 conventional, let us say deflection of beam, the problem sometimes takes a lot of time, so 5 or 6 such problems I will solve. So it should be quantifiable, then actually you know we will not have free time for daydreaming, otherwise it is very very harmful. Certain you know aspirations are required because I want to become such and such person for help, basically you know serving my parents and all that, but too much is harmful. So these two are very very effective ways to do it and in the evening before sleep because that when we are sleeping it's a perfect time for uh, you know dreaming you know and uh, you know something that you cannot achieve so uh, before sleep we should be grateful to our parents be grateful to our teachers see some of the modern culture i don't like they keep on abusing you know their seniors their teachers their people those are respectable in the family if you do that, certainly you can achieve your desired goal. So in the evening, we should thank God, we should thank our parents, we should thank our teachers for helping us to basically develop some qualities. When we think in that way, certainly the dreams will be, will be positive dreams. So once again at the end, some dreaming is required. Otherwise, you know, how will you basically work hard to achieve that goal? Suppose dreaming, I want to become an IAS officer. Dreaming that I want to crack gate with a very good rank. This dreaming is required. But excessive is very bad. So whatever two, three methods I have requested you, if you do it, I think, you know, this problem will be subsided to a great degree. And you let me know what other issues you are thinking that I will make video and upload over YouTube. Thank you very much.